Hey, Storytelling Ron here, and I'm doing an update for my Kickstarter backers and my patrons on my own website. Not Patreon, but on StorytellingRon.com. I love using that for my patrons. I love putting stuff wherever I want and different pages and stuff like that. Anyway, so let me start with Kickstarters because I that's really important right now. So as you can see, I'm working on I'm, I promise you I'm working on it. I just had this whole transition with the workstation, and it was crazy and fun and getting everything and it's really a joy a blast now to do these maps and um so you can see i'm working on it okay you can can you see yeah pretty cool it's i'm really pretty excited um so, oh oh my gosh if you are a player of mine you cannot watch this video or if you're a kickstarter who's going to be doing a you know my gm sessions i have not forgotten about you you really can't watch this video so, oh my gosh don't even look at the wait go away sorry i will i will email you guys for doing it for doing these these gym sessions don't even look at this forget what you've seen um so if you're my one of my players you can't watch this video i'm showing too much stuff and if you're in, uh, one of the kickstarter backers who are going to do the dm session with me you can't watch this video either i'll sh i promise you you will get to see this stuff you know on the floor level um when we play okay so i will be con emailing you i just got to get these maps uh finished so please leave go go i'm gonna take a little coffee break while you leave sorry can't wait i you can't watch this i mean you want to all right so all my kickstarter backers um for those that are getting the digital files this is uh for the maps so i'm going to just show you a little tour of what i'm, I'm doing and i'm 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 working harder now, faster on it. Uh, so here, let me just show you real quick. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna move around here. What am I doing? Okay, so this is the size of the players on this map, and as you can see, uh, um, uh, the by the um, uh, the navigator here, this is how big the actual map is. Yeah, I don't want to show you too much, you know. I don't want. I'm just trying to use the navigator window to show you how big the map is, and how. You know, this is kind of generally like when I do online games, that's kind of the size of the tokens when I'm doing, you know, roll 20 or whatever. Maybe a little, maybe a little like that. But there's the map, and I don't want to really show you any more than that, okay? Just want to let you know I'm where it's. See, you can see the sunken galley in there in the swamp in the Evermire. And this, and this map's huge, and you can go, you know, look around. Let me show you something else for my maps that's right can you see what that is yeah that's the under layer or the whatever i call it under layer underworld i don't know um yep so you can crawl into the holes and go down into the next layer and again i just want to show you this so you don't see too much of it and so it's kind of more fun and exciting but uh let me go over here and you know this is the whole galleon with all the cannons all you know smashed and sunk down and you know into pop you know this is gonna be a really difficult terrain to go exploring in and there's creatures um you know counters and stall in the ground this is all anyway i don't want to show you too much you know i just want to let you know i'm working on it okay and um i have uh this is the, the one of the next stretch goals and I, I don't mind showing you a bit more of this one but so this is my sort of inking out um this is where the ogres live on the side of the sort of the rise next to the swamp and yes there's an under tunnels under tunnels there uh, just see if i can hide okay you know i got i I, st I'm, I just i'm just in a sketching inking phase of that one just, I, and i like to kind of work on the different maps just to know what i've got going and you know where you know where where, where what all i need to do and then so this is kind of the first phase of 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 um how i you know work out the maps and this is the um um the stone tower it's a, like an old wizard's ancient tomb and there's going to be an underground area of that and then uh the church which is like an old abandoned church up on the mountainside um and i'm still working out you know what i want to do with that and, and you know i work it it's like clay to me i do a goof, goof really you know broad stroke yeah and then i start going into details and i start thinking like a dm like what do i want what's what's going to be more adventurous here what 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 can i add here there so kickstarters please know i'm working on it i'm 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 loving what i'm doing and i'm gonna get you know it's coming i just i had that whole delay but i needed that delay because i really wanted these maps to be big and i didn't even promise that in my kickstarter but i want them to be big 
and my old computer just was not able to handle it. So this one is, and I'm and I'm ex I'm pretty excited about it. So Kickstarter, I'm working on it. Got a lot of tokens. I'm gonna do even more. Every map is gonna I'm gonna create tokens specifically for those maps too for the encounters. So it's gonna be um, kind of big because that's what I do. Okay. So I just want to show you that. Now I'm um, that's my Kickstarter update, and I'm working. Now I'm going to move to my patrons. My patrons, um, thank you for supporting me. And I, you know, as you can see, I, 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 I keep posting stuff on there. Let me turn this on. Is this right? Alrighty, and turn off the navigator. Okay, so this is my web page. Uh, oh, I can't see it. All right, so here is the um, the on my patron site. This is the rhyme of the frost maiden page, and I've got three new maps. So you can see them. So this one, I just I'm not going out of order. This is in Bryn Shander. This is kind of like my my part my storyline. So of of it. If you watch my DM tips on on um, Brian the Frost Maiden, but in essence, you know, there's a frost druid almost in every town trying to do their horrible human sacrifice thing, and uh, and, the, and and I'm giving away stuff. So play, no players, it's only for DMs. Um, and this is where this is a this is funny. This is from Storm King's Thunder. They actually had an encounter here, and they ruined, uh, they burnt down this area and fought this um, the, the Slark Rethel Kraken Society. And now later, you know, a year, a couple of years, two or three years later, it's now frozen. In the church, this old church is ruined, and uh, there's burnt areas here in the front, and they're having now the Frost Druid uh, Oral Cult. You know, getting all the rich people to to join in this cult, and they're giving them the gift, gifts, and the gifts is cannibalism. They're 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 killing the people. Well, they're if not killing people, taking the dead people and then turning it into food because there's no everyone's starving and running out of food. So that's there's that this horror level, and um, so that's, this map is this is it, that. So this is the encounter where they have to go and deal with this frost druid in this cult. Um, and do a little battle here or something. So that's and this is in Burn Shanner. This is a, a, a location, and I did play this through. Uh, they did encounter this area in my last. Um, oh, I have to upload it. My latest, um, you know, playthrough of, the, of it. But um, but this is the map I use. So it's up there for you if you want to use it for that or anywhere you want to put this in in um, uh, Icewind Dell. You know, in one of the ten, in East Haven or in Burn Shander or whatever, you can use this. Uh, this is just I just a generic kind of um, little fun snow fight area in kind of a rise is what I did here. I use this a, co um, a couple times. You know they did an encounter diagonally <laughs> each way, so different encounters. Uh, this here is a map that I'm using for I, I I use or am they're still in it. Now we're taking the July off, so this will have to start up in August again. This one, but they did. They're at this location. They just haven't gotten to this on the under the dungeon. Now this is this is the map part of the map for the East Haven Town Hall, but I've changed it. I don't want to. I don't want to. I wasn't to me that town hall thing uh, wasn't that interesting to me, so I changed it. So this is the Torg Merchants uh, Warehouse, whatever, in Bryn Shander, and they work with the Oral Cult to get bodies and butcher them up and then turn them into gifts to you know to to lure uh to buy followers basically with the food the gift and uh, so the, most of the people don't know they're eating humans they just know they they're getting fed and blessed by oral but this is what's really happening so and this is of course the dungeon area where there's a bunch of dead bodies and and frozen -y, you know freezing there's some zombies down there and an ogre zombie butcher kind of thing so this is um the, and i drew i covered you know as you can see i drew over um and made it more gruesome and scary looking if you want to do that anyway that map is in there and you can put it you, you just put it on the map slayer and roll 20 and on top of the other one and that's what i'm doing okay so there's that and then i just i i placed all the the older and the newer tokens into a, a cool gallery here so you can just download the ones you want they're all pngs they all work fine as tokens um and you know i, have, I use these for everything the thugs um, here's the three frost druids. You can use those repeatedly. I use those over and over. You know, a bunch of boats. Or either you can, I put in these top down ones, but I don't use those. I use these ones. And um, 
for the late adventure. This one is the Torg Merchant Wagon. That's what I use for that in Grin Shander. Oh, you can't see some of the stuff on the side here. Uh, okay, I'll just be aware of that. Um, the Grell, there's the Grell. And the, these are the Grell zombies I used in the Tourmaline. Because I made it so that the, the there's no kobolds in, for me. That's the way I did it. In the mine, I, I, I just wanted a scary, spooky thing. So the Grell was zombifying the, the, the anyone that came. You know, and got little grellings growing out of the brain there. And that's to me the way they make grells. Oh. And this is the captain that is haunt. You know, it's a background story for one of the characters. Hansom. This is Dwargar. I did a couple different versions. I figured these are like more worker, basic Dwargar. And then these are the more advanced. Maybe the brothers or, or you know, the, the, the citadel. This the whatever, the fortress Dwargar. So I kind of did it that way. Low level and then higher level Dwargar kind of thing. Uh, yeah, hammer or hammer. Um... These are uh, Frost Giant Skeletons. And these, okay, so for the Knights of the Blood or Bl Blood Knight, or no, whatever it is, the um, Care Dineval or Care Kernig, the one where they have the cult there for Osmodius or whatever, I changed it to the Malor of the Hunt God. And they worship Malor of the Hunt. Because the, there's there's ember, there's certain, there's like three or four gods that are all with Oral, like in this little pantheon, and they all hate each other or whatever. And they're all evil. And so I wanted to keep the, the story kind of in the same sort of vein of that and so that's what these are going to be those knights and um and they're they're opposing oral uh but of course they're not going to be they're lawful evilly or you know so they're not going to be not nice to the party either um but anyway i'm gonna that's what i'm having for that area that, that castle these are snow golems these those you do 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 um uh, these are these are obviously uh, words of the coast art but i just grabbed them off of google and um, they're in here, so you if you want to use those. Um, these are my cold light walkers. Cold light one and cold light two. And so that's that for that's new, what's new this uh, July second. And on my tomb of annihilation, I've got some new stuff here. We've got two new maps. Uh, this one is great. I just we just played the, using this one. I I it, this took up almost two sessions to play. I added some some you know pterodon flyers up here in the mounds, harassing them. This is a Twinga location. That took them a while to figure that one out. Uh, there was I put some evil plants down here that that kind of caught them, trapped them. That was fun. Um, there was right here some some of those scaleback dinos, the dimetrodon dimetrodons. There I, put, I just had them resting in the sun here. There was a couple back here, but they scared off after the gunslinger started firing. But whatever. And then that was like, they were busy with that for one whole session. Then the second session, there was a giant snapping turtle down here. They, they climbed down to get to this little treasure down here, if you can see that. Um, they then fought. Um, then there, I, I, I rolled a random encounter because the guy is musket fire. You know, it was just so loud. I figured, well, once in a while, I'm going to roll, see if anything. So some, some terror folk came in, and they had a big fight with them here because the terror folk were trying to steal their um, the food that they got. They killed the other, you know. They killed the other flying things, uh, the pterodons, or whatever. Anyway, it's in my playthrough if you want to check it out. But what I'm saying is you can put different creatures all around this jungle, these these maps. And this one here is, um, I put zombies. It was an old Harper's. It turned out to be, based on my die roll, their treasure find. I, I made it an old Harper's um, hut. And they got some stuff. They got some healing potions. That was kind of cool. But they had a good good zombie fight here. Um, I do have some um, um, of the Velociraptor, the little ones in here. I may skip that and just let them move on because they've been at this map long enough. Uh, that map's already there. And that's oh, just so you know, that's in my that is in my conquest of the Evermar map too. But whatever. And then this oh, this cool map here is just another one I'm going to use. I haven't used it yet, but you know, so I'm going to do this one's going to have more of those unique monsters: the Eblis, the Sioux monster, you know, the the more the Kamadin. The I'm going to put a bunch of those in here, and they have to basically get across this terrain. You gotta get across the water and traverse along here and of course they might see something interesting that they gotta go check out so these maps are in there for you patrons and um oh and this now this this is a link to my um free kind of stuff that i just got off the internet google stuff um this is my original stuff in here but for, for the for the most part i might so here's a you know this is a funny plant uh, these are i put in a week or two ago the snapping turtles that I just use those. You know, some boats here, um, some bullywug dudes, um, and then these are my 
these are my um, flaming fist. I'm gonna have flaming. They're in the area where the flaming fists are, so they're gonna encounter them soon. And the conquistadors is my style for the flaming fists. You know, I think that's kind of cool. Um, and then I got like a cleric here, and then these are gonna be like some of their hirelings that they're gonna have. Um, you know, some some tough dudes. So anyway, so that's that's it. There's uh, my new stuff and. You know, I'm going to be adding more. Let me know if anything, you know, if everything looks works fine or if you're missing something or something doesn't load out right, you know, let me know. Um, but, yeah, that's it. That's, you know, that's a couple of weeks worth of stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing more. I got more coming. Red Wizards and some other stuff. Uh, so, basically, I'm kind of focused on Tomb of Annihilation. Rhyme of the Frostman, we're taking a month off, so I'll, I'm focusing on the Kickstarter there. And some of the stuff I'm using here, I'm using Kickstarter as well because it's you know, very similar, uh, swamp and jungle kind of stuff, but yeah, but, um, okay. So that's my video update for you Kickstarter folks and my patrons. Thank you so much for, for, for supporting me on my website. Um, it just, just, it, you know, that just helps me work harder and, and on stuff. And I appreciate, um, people saying, Hey, this is worth three bucks to me, you know? Um, and feel free to, you know, I always say that, um, you know, you can join for a month, take what you want and leave and then, you know, cancel out. I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, and just, just, but just stick around, you know, come back every now and then. But cause I do put, as you can see in my list, I put stuff up all the time. And, uh, you know, I just try to put a little list here saying, um, this should be uh, updated by now. Let me see. Did I save it out? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, I try to do a little ongoing list here of what I've put up. Um, anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks a lot busy busy dizzy dizzy and uh, i got more coming and um so yeah and check out my youtube channel um subscribe there comment like and i'm just working and having fun all right